Hello everyone, it's Maria with Angelfish Design, and today I have another new journal for you. This is my design team project from June for Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and I will leave the links down below. I used two of her digital kits, Spring Woodland 1 and Spring Woodland 2. So let's take a look. So on the front cover, I have this pretty little birdie image and some mulberry paper in the background. This ribbon holds it closed. Um, this is a standard size Traveler's Notebook insert, but you can use it as a standalone journal, as with most of my journals, and that's why I've included the ribbon, so you can use that for your closure. So I have these beautiful florals, some extra paper on the edge, uh, book paper, to add some stability there, and this beautiful image on the back. Each edge of the front cover and back covers has some coffee dyed lace. Inside the front cover, I have a little pocket here and a card. I've decorated this doily with a bird image and some bling. And then I put some lined paper on the back so you can actually journal on the doily if you like. There's little bits of scraps throughout on the edges giving some extra design and have quite a few tabs. I made these with uh, some snippet roll that I made that has some eyelash trim and they're just stapled on there. You can add some words to them if you like to divide up your journal. And this has a lot of avocado dyed paper giving it that super pretty delicious pink color. There's a very pale stamped bird cage image there. And another tab using one of the images from the digital collection. And there's lots of pretty aquas and pinks throughout the journal. And on some of these types of pages, I've added a little journal spot with some embellishing and some tab, uh, not tab, label, a vintage label look. There's lots of space for journaling and memory keeping or whatever you like. And this is a pretty little card blank on the back. You can use that as a journaling card or if you like you can glue it somewhere else in the book. And this tuck spot has a little flip with the extra journal paper and this pretty tag with some coffee stained paper on the back. This kit is just beautiful. All the eggs and beautiful florals and the birds. And this is also a pocket here. So inside is this little card. It peeks out through there. Another embellished edge there. And another journal spot right there. Tab. little extra piece there. You can create a little tip in, you can tear that off and use it somewhere else, anything you like. This is a paper clip envelope and there's a bunch of extra words in there. And that can clip anywhere you like it in the book. Oops, this was, oh, I have to glue that back on. Another tag. This beautiful imagery and some lace. And here's a little tuck spot with two tags. And another journal area right there. And this is another envelope from the kit. And that's just clipped on and it has some extra images in there as well. Another tuck spot. Kind of a calendar feel tag. And this tag with one of my hand-drawn labels there. And this little ta um, fringe tab is so pretty. And let me see. Yep, I thought so. That's a little pocket there for you with some writing lines, journaling lines. 
And this guy is just clipped on there for you. He can stay floating through your book or you can glue him somewhere. Another flip out page. And here is the other half of the doily. Again, I've got some writing lines there and then the other side is plain. And now the fun part with this journal is it has this little included folio in the back. So there's a pocket here and this opens up with some extra journal space there. And then you have this pocket. I've just included this <laughs> little clip. I found it while I was cleaning out a drawer and I thought, well, that's pretty. I'll just tuck it right there. So that's included for you. This tag opens up like this. And this is a little mini pocket tag with some more words for you, extra bits and a couple of, or well, one extra little hand-drawn label. Let me turn that over, and this is a large pocket. Another pretty page from the kit, and that just tucks right in there. And then we have three pockets here. These two are great for tiny little bits of scraps that you may have. And some more embellished images from the kit. Several of those little hand-drawn uh, labels. And some more tiny pieces from the kit. Very cute. And then just the image of the bird on that side. And the back. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this share. This journal will be listed on my Etsy. Again, it is a standard size traveler's notebook insert, so it is approximately four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And you can find that again on my Etsy shop. The links will be down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.